everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Lara and today I have a little extra video for you guys so I hope you enjoy let's jump right in today I am going to talk about my favorite or the best and the worst skincare uh, products I used in June of 2020 so if you want to find out which products are a go get and which products are super bad never put on your face that definitely continue listening today i have six products with me today they are all products that i finished using um this month so without further ado let's jump right in um the first go get product of today is the this one i hope you can see it clearly this is the mamonde uh, everyday aqua sun cream with calendula flower it's spf 50 plus and pa plus 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 this is a sunscreen this is a physical sunscreen but it blends really really well with makeup i finished using this uh, around the middle of this month um there is like just a tiny bit left i think uh, let me see if i can get a little bit out for you interesting maybe because i left it for such a long time like this at least a bit came out so this is what the sunscreen looks like if you spread it out over your hands it becomes a little bit watery and at least a really really light uh white cast but since i use it underneath makeup you don't see it at all um this makeup this um is a really watery type of sunscreen so it's very good if you have oily skin or you just just want something light during summer so this is a go get it <laughs> you definitely have to purchase this one it's great next i have a kind of don't get it product um at least if you are anything like me so next up i have the green tangerine vita c cream intense from goodall this product isn't bad by any means um it's just not really for my skin i would say this is um yeah i've used it more or less completely there is a little bit left so i'll show you what it looks like so it's a yellowy cream like this hopefully it focuses yes thank you it focuses so if you spread it out it's a really really thick consistency and very 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 hydrating but because it's that thick consistency and it is summer right now um it's not the best for controlling oil you could say this is really good for clearing up your skin like making it look brighter that it really does it what it promises to do but it's so rich and um hydrating that's a bit too much for summer so um, i'll be leaving the rest of this product until the winter <laughs> oh my gosh until winter arrives that's what i was trying to say this one was going to winter all by itself um yeah it does say like good old green tangerine vita c cream intense so um yeah if you have really really dry skin even in summer then this product is definitely for you i think and if you want much a lot of brightening but if you have a little bit of skin like me which tends to get oily in summer then this might be one for the winter so yeah you can t decide about that by yourself. the next product that i have for you guys is actually another mom on the product unfortunately um, my mom decided to throw away the bottle because it was empty um yeah so i don't have the bottle here with me i can show you however a picture of it okay so this is the Mamonde Rose Water Toner. As you can say, see on the picture, it says it has 19.97% rose water. And I really, really love this toner because it's so refreshing, it smells amazing, and it just really calms your skin because it contains so much rose water. This is definitely another go get it. It's amazing, people. Next up, I have another vitamin C product. Um, this is the Claire's freshly juiced vitamin drop with pure vitamin c centinella asiatica extract and hybrid stabilization technology as you can see i've all but used it okay so i was talking about this little product right here um i've been using it for two months approximately right now this bottle bottle has lasted me quite a while and this one is amazing for making your face just like lit up and having a really healthy glow um i haven't been using it the past couple 
days because it's almost gone and I have actually changed my skincare routine a little bit um, but this one is really amazing it's a bit funny when you use it it, ma it makes your skin warm not in a burning sensation it just warms it up a little bit I don't know why that happens must be something I must have something to do with the vitamin C inside um, but yeah this product has been really really amazing in helping me get a little bit more healthy looking skin I would say so this is definitely a go buy one again next up I have a uh, a more a body care product you could say uh, I have the Nivea marshmallow care uh, silky flower body lotion you could say this is a really um, smooth watery type of body lotion that is great for hydrating um, it's really cheap actually so that's even better all the products I talk about today are linked down below so you can take a look for yourself um, and more importantly it smells really really good uh, so after I used it uh, my skin would always be really silky smooth that's why it's called silky flower after all and yeah I just feel really hydrated and nice this is not sticky at all so that's great for body lotion yeah definitely be, will be repurchasing this again okay and then the last product which I won't be repurchasing ever again is this bad boy here it's the Clavu white pearlization ideal actress backstage cream 2 spf 30 pa plus plus in the color lavender i'm actually going to show you there's still product inside but i won't be using it anymore um yeah you can see my hand is still kind of shiny from uh putting on that uh, vitamin c cream but i'm going to put it on top anyways so this is um a purpley cream as you can see i'm going to spread it out of, over my hand it has a really thick paint-like almost um, feeling to it uh, it doesn't blend well with the skin at all I feel it leaves really a white cast like you can see that right even though I didn't use a lot of products it's like so much that stays on my hat and it makes me really really oily and more importantly it makes my skin dry out and wet especially here because i have, uh, struggle with um perioral dermatitis and on the other hand it makes me break out so i won't be using this product again no this is not for me i don't even like the smell it smells really chalky and um like clay almost I don't know I just don't like this product uh, I won't be repurchasing and I even won't be finishing it I think so um, yeah this one is definitely a no-no for me okay so that were the six products uh, of this month my empties with the best and worst skincare of June um, I hope you enjoyed this little extra video and that the information I provided you with was at least a little bit helpful um, yeah if you're interested in hearing an in-depth review of any of these products or of other products that I'm using currently in my skincare routine then definitely leave me a comment down below I'll be happy to hear it uh, also don't forget to click the like button click the subscribe button button because your support helps me run this channel and um, yeah if you can also support me by um, purchasing any of the any of these products through the affiliate links down below that would really be a great help if you can't or you don't want to that's also completely fine so thank you for watching and see you next time bye